Just like how we can restructure the elements of an array, in the same way, we can also destructure the properties of an object. Basically, we can create variables and we can assign value of a property of an object to that variable by using destructuring syntax. Let's understand it with some practical examples. Here we have an object. Now what we want is we want to create some variables and in that variable we want to assign the value stored in some of these variables. So for example, let's say I want to have a variable maybe name and to this I want to assign the value stored in this name property. So for that first we will have to access the user object. On that we can access the name property and its value will be assigned to this name variable. Okay, let me rename it to something else maybe for name. Okay, now let's say I want to create another variable called age and I want to assign the value stored in the age property of the user object to that variable. So we will have to do it in this way. But instead of doing it like this, what we can do is we can use object destructuring syntax. Let's see how we can do that. So for that again, first we need to use either let or const keyword in order to create the variables. Here I'm going to use let keyword, but if you want, you can also use const keyword so that is not going to make any difference the only thing is if you use const keyword then your variables will be constant and its value cannot be changed later so if you're going to create a variable whose value you want to change at a later point of time then you better use let keyword otherwise you can use const keyword and for object destructuring syntax we use a set of curly braces like this in case of array destructuring, we use a set of square brackets and inside that we specify the variable names. But for object destructuring, we use a set of curly braces like this. And after that, we assign the object which we want to destructure. Here, we want to destructure the user object. Now inside these curly braces, we specify the variable names which we want to create. Now, one very important point to remember when destructuring an object is that the variable name must match the name of the property whose value you want to assign to it. So for example, let's say I want to create a variable called name and to this name variable, I want to assign the value stored in the name property. So the variable name must match that property name. Then only the value of that property will be assigned to that variable. Here I'm going to call it as phone name. So now, when I'm specifying the variable name as name in this user object, we don't have any property with that name name. So in this case, this variable will not be assigned with any value. Its value will be undefined. But if I change it to for name, in that case, this for name variable will be assigned with the value stored in the for name property of user object. So this is how we destructure an object. To destructure an object, we use the property name as variable names. To destructure an array, its index is used. The position of the element in that array is used for destructuring an array. But in case of an object, the destructuring is done based on the property name. So here, the phone name will be assigned with the value stored in the phone name property. Age will be assigned with the value stored in the age property and gender will be assigned with the value stored in the gender property of this user object. Let's go ahead and let's log for name, age and gender. Let's save the changes and you see for name which is John age 28 and gender male is logged here. So again remember that destructuring an array is based on elements position in that array but destructuring of object is based on reference. Reference means the variable name must match the property name. So in that case, what will happen is this variable will reference this property name and it will be assigned with the value stored in this property name. Now, what if you want to have a different variable name than the property name? So for example, instead of calling the variable for name, you want to call it as first name. How you will do that? For that, we can use the alias names. So here, after the variable name, we can use a colon like this, and then we can specify the alias name which we want to use for that variable. For example, f name. Okay, so now you cannot use this for name. This for name now will be used only for reference. So it will reference the property with this name in the user object, 
and it will access its value and it will assign it to this fname variable so now the variable name is fname this phone name we are using just for referencing the property in the user object so now the variable name has changed to fname so here we'll use that variable name if i save the changes you will still see the same result but now the variable name is fname but we still need to use this name because with this name we want to reference a property in the user object and access its value now what if i specify a variable name for example country and with this variable name we don't have any value inside this user object now in javascript you will not see any error but in typescript you will see this error okay and this error says that property country does not exist on type so basically since the country property does not exist in this user object typescript is immediately throwing the compiler error but this you will not get in javascript in javascript this variable will be assigned with a value undefined all right so this is how we can destructure an object and we can assign the value of a property in a variable so for that again we use let or const keyword to create the variables now for object destructuring we use a set of curly braces and inside that we create our variables and then we use the assignment operator and after that we specify which object we want to destructure now from that object based on the variable name if there is any property with that variable name in that object the value of that property will be assigned to that variable you can also specify an alias like we are doing here but still you will have to use a name which matches a property name in that object which you are destructuring then only it will be able to reference that property and access its value all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day